Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs that sell. And as a bonus, if you stay tuned till the end of the video, I have five more evergreen niches that you guys can be working on right now. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this design right here for Chinese New Year. I will be talking a little bit about Chinese New Year and giving you guys some good ideas um, for designs. So if you would like to learn about this niche and how to do this design, go ahead and stick around. So I'm here on Canvas homepage and we are going to be creating a t-shirt design today. So for starters, we're going to go over to the right hand side of the page where it says custom size. And we are going to go ahead and select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That is the standard size for t-shirts and it will ensure that your print is actually above 300 DPI. So I am going to be starting with my blank background. I do prefer to design for the darker colors as they do tend to sell best. So I'm going to go ahead and select my background color and it is going to be black. Now we are creating a design for Chinese New Year. And in 2025, Chinese New Year is going to be on January 29th and it is the year of the snake. And so now is the time that you would want to be starting to work on some of those January designs, including Chinese New Year. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to make a really simple one today um, and show you just different kind of styles that we can use. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull up a text box and I'm going to be just putting one that says uh, 2025 and it's going to say a year of the snake. So pretty simple. So I'm going to start with what would be 2025, but I'm going to put two. I'm going to skip a couple spaces and then I'm going to put 25. And I am going to do something different with the, um, with the, what will be the zero. Okay. I'm going to pull up one more text box. Oops. So you hit T on your keyboard. That'll pull up a text box. And then I'm going to go ahead and write. Uh, the year of the snake. Perfect. And make that nice and big. Now, I think I want this to be in all caps. So to do that, I'm going to go to the top part of the page where you have the little A and the big A. Hit that. It'll make everything nice and uppercased for you. And now what we're going to be doing is finding some fonts. Now, I did spend a lot of time looking at different fonts, different display fonts that I thought would, would look cool for this. I did want something pretty bold for the 2025 and something pretty smaller or simpler, I guess, for the year of the snake. But I was also going for sort of that Chinese New Year style writing. And so for 2025, I did come up with one that I got off of Creative Fabrica. And I do have a link in the description below um, for Creative Fabrica if you don't already have it. There's thousands and thousands of different fonts there. And there's also thousands and thousands of free fonts. And I do have a video on how you can download free fonts from Creative Fabrica and upload it to Canva. So if you go to um, my channel and you know you look through the different playlists, you will be able to find it. Anyways, after searching for a while, I uh, came up with one that was called Chinese Dragon. And that is this font right here, which I thought looked pretty cool. It had that boldness that I wanted, maybe less space there. And so I thought that is going to work out really well. And then for this one, again, I wanted something a little bit more simple. Um, I probably searched display fonts here for this one. So if I go to display, you'll see lots of fun display fonts and you can just sort of click through the different ones and see kind of what you think might work best for your design. And again, there's so many different ones that you could go with. Um, so I did look for a while, but I ended up selecting one that said it was Z cool. Uh, Zawe. So that one right there, there's a few different of the Z cools, but I liked that one there. I thought again, it had sort of that nice look to the font. And so once I have the basics here, I'm going to go ahead, select um, a graphic for the zero, um, something snake-like, and then pick some colors. So I'm going to go over to the side uh, where it says elements. And we're going to go ahead, click that. And there's different ways that we can do this. If you just do a broad search for Chinese New Year, 
it will pull up all sorts of Chinese New Year's things. Um, and so we can see Chinese New Year and there's just a bunch of different graphics and they can give you lots of good ideas of, you know, things that you can incorporate. And so there's a little snake there. Lots of fun. Here are some like uh, kanjis or characters. There's a snake. And because it's the year of the snake, there's all sorts of different ones. This I like. This one I like quite a bit because it's gold and it can work perfectly right there. So that is a great option there. I can also look now at magic recommendations. There's a few more of those. So here's a different one. And again, it'll let me change the colors, which is what I want. So just so I can see it, if I was to make that one gold too, I can look at sort of the different snakes. So there's one snake. I can keep looking at the different recommendations. Here's a third, you know, kind of circle snake. And of course you could always create your own by taking any of the snake graphics and putting it inside a circle. So you don't have to go with one of the ones that are already made. Uh, here is one. This one's not gonna let me change the colors, but that one's kind of cool too. And so just all sorts of different options to work with. Here are just some, again, blank circles. So I could take any one of these circles if it actually, you know, kind of had that look to it and put the snake inside of it. I could also do a more tailored search here if I wanted to and go ahead and put year of the snake. And then again, it's gonna come up with lots of cool year of the snake stuff. And what we can see is all sorts of different snakes. Here's a couple where they went ahead and used the snake for the two. And so that's kind of cool there. And I'll make it lighter so you guys can see it. But so that is one way that they did that. And that's kind of a cool theme there that you can see um, lots of different snakes. That one's almost like a tribal style snake. It's not really Chinese style, I don't think as much, but it's a cool tribal snake. So here's another one. I like this one quite a bit too. I'll put that in gold. And so right now I've got three different uh, snake circles up here. Every one of them could be used for the, you know, the zero in the 2025. If I was to look at them and decide which ones I think would look best, I'm going to get rid of that one right away. I didn't like that one. I do like this one okay. I like this one. This one has a lot more empty space. So it's kind of like if I was to put them like this, this one's the most empty, this one's a little more solid, this one is very solid. Um, I like this one because it's zoomed in on the face and I like the uh, expression on the face. Um, so really it's a matter of preference and I suppose there would be nothing stopping you from putting up three different versions um, and have a version with each one of these. So again, you don't always have to pick just one. You can always have multiple versions, especially if you're uploading onto Amazon where you can have tons of versions of the same thing. If you were doing something more like Etsy, you'd probably wanna pick your best version to put up, but it just depends on, on what kind of platform you're selling on. So I do like this, I like the gold. And so now I'm gonna start picking some colors here. So I'm gonna put this kind of right here. Perfect. And that fits really well. And now I'm picking some colors. So what I can see here is a lot of those reds and golds, reds and golds, reds and golds. And I do wanna go ahead and stick with the red and gold look. That's also a really cool snake. It's a totally different style, but that's a cool snake, sorry. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with those reds and golds. And I can go ahead and pick any of these. Oh, here's another really cool one here. So let's say I liked the colors of these. I can bring this up and then use my eyedropper features to try to copy these colors. So for example, if I liked that gold better, because this one was a little bit more yellowy, I can go ahead, go to add a color, use my little eyedropper feature, hover over the gold in this design and try to match it. And so that's a little bit more pale gold, but that's how I could try to match those colors exactly if I wanted to. I could also go ahead and match the red, which they brought up right there for me. So I didn't even need to do that. But that is one way that I can try to match colors. If it's a little bit too dark, I can always play with that as well. So lots of different things that I do. Oh, there's another cool snake one. And it's not a circle, but it could still work very well. Okay, so 
all sorts of fun ones that give you great ideas for different designs. A lot of good ideas coming from some of these that you can look at. So anyways, back to this design. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go with a little bit of a lighter red just because I think that that's going to be a little dark. So I'm going to bring that actually into more of a red shade. So let's say I decided to go with those two colors. So that red and that gold. I'm going to go ahead and make the year of the snake the same gold color there. And then I'm going to do two things here to really make it pop. First, I want to put red background um, in the snake. So to do that, I'm going to hit C. And I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to make my circle the same red color. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my circle right over the top of the snake and I want it to line up pretty perfectly in terms of size. So I want it to be as close as humanly possible. And then what I would do is hit control in my left bracket and send that red to the back. So something like that looks kind of cool. Of course, now it's not popping as much. So I may end up deciding to make that red a little bit darker after all. And then I want to do an outline here again with the gold. So I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to outline and I'm going to select that gold color. I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. That's a little bit too thick for me, but you can see how it looks really cool because it already had that inline feature. So when it did the outline, it filled in that inline right there to make it look really cool. So right now, I really like this design. I'm not super fond of the colors. I'm going to play with the colors a little bit more, but that's pretty much the design I want. It's nice and simple. It gets the message across, and there's lots of different ways I can go about doing this. So I'm just going to play with the colors a tiny bit more, but I think it's pretty much ready to go. Okay, there we go. So I liked those colors. And so that is just one design for, you know, Chinese New Year. Now, Again, you can make a ton of these as you start to look through the different um, graphics available to you. Hopefully you start to get some really cool ideas of how you can incorporate these things or combine these things to make some awesome designs. Um, anyways, if you have any questions about this or about this niche, you can drop that in the comments section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I do read all the comments and thank you so much for the kind words. I am trying to grow this channel. Um, I do have a Facebook page and I'm starting to trying to start a little bit of a community so you guys can communicate with one another there as well. So there's links into the description for that. Um, I hope you guys are doing great. And as promised, I'm going to share with you um, five bonus niches. So as promised, here are your five bonus niches. These are evergreens and they will sell now and they will sell next year and the year after that and the year after that. So without any more waiting. Number one, I'm just here to pay for everything. This is a funny one for a parent. Um, and it is great for all occasions, honestly. Number two, bourbon goes in, wisdom comes out. And of course, you can substitute bourbon for anything that you like. Number three, I'd agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. We always like those sarcastic sayings. Number four, difficult, uh, sorry, Adulting, difficult AF, would not recommend. Um, and then number five, which I think is hilarious, after Tuesday, even the calendar says, what the, you can figure it out, WTF. So anyways, I hope you guys can start working on these niches this week and come up with some awesome um, design styles for those. And I do hope to see you guys again next week. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.